euro dollar and as you recall from what we were talking about the last few weeks we said if it breaks this momentum low of 123.28 that was our structural low we are going to see a capitulation to the downside and as you see right there we are now trading at 119 we have we're 400 pips below that momentum low and that is the sell off that we had we had again it does its job there is a lot of people try to support it at this at these levels but once it does break it just capitulates to the uh, downside uh, and if you look at the weekly chart for the euro dollar you would see that underneath that momentum low there is nothing but air until the next handle which is the 116.38 so we have another 600 pips possible decline in the euro dollar before we really get any real reprieve if you will and these are the two previous congestion so we, we should be looking at it to pause right there now having said that this this is a, a major break to the downside it is a big range day we did close pretty much at the low of the day so even though I'm extremely bearish on it I really want to take it to the short side I want to stay with it on the short side we just need to be slightly careful because again this is where the big range day rules apply and uh, usually when we have these very obvious kind of trades uh, this is when we get caught up or we can get caught in a quick short covering rally so we just need to be cautious uh, in timing our shorts we want to be short on that trade okay so we are going to go short right below the low of the day which is the 119 55 that is going to be our short okay and if we are going let me see I have to look at the intraday now so I can pinpoint okay so we are not going to look at buying the euro unless it gets above the 121.04 that is going to be the first buying point that we have in the euro dollar And if we are going to go short below the 119.67, we're going to place our stop above the market side, which is 120.20. So our stop on the downside is going to be our long, our short stop is 120.20. Uh, if we are going to go long above 121. And you guys, you have to be very careful about going long here. The only reason we're going to go long here because that at this point, that will be the beginning of a short covering rally. So that will be the only reason we are going to enter it. And if we buy it above 121.04, 121.10, our stop is going to be below 
120 40 right above the on the other side of the range our structural long is the 123 28 and unfortunately the structure low is the 116 116.38 and this is probably where the next pause should be but guys again this is such a this is a, a very negative picture technical picture for the euro and this here we are in the beginning right there that is the the major structure failure and as you can see we have pinpointed at this point from the beginning of 2009 so right there this is i mean i have no doubt i mean based on what it looks that this thing is going to come down to par This is such a technically weak chart that you should be, I mean, we, this, as soon as it gets below this, you're looking, I mean, there's nothing, absolutely nothing but air until the, that congestion over here, which is the, around the par or the equality between the euro and the, so the next structure point is the 116.38. It's the the one that we had so okay so just oops what have I done okay so if we are going to go along the euro dollar we're gonna take it above 121 10 and if we are going to go long our stop is going to be 120 40 so we're risking about 60 or 70 pips on that uh, trade if we are going to go short, we're going to take it below the low of the day, which 119.55, and we're going to place our stop above 120.20. Uh, so I'm risking about, again, 40, 50 pips because of the volatility. And my structure long is 123.28, and my structure short, which is a very significant point, is the 116.38. Okay? Any questions on...